What's up, everybody? Uh, Mom Vernon Kid here coming to you again. How's everybody doing out there? I am here to, once again, as always, uh, entertain you with my recap slash review of this week's episode of Transformers Prime. Yes, the good stuff. Okay? <laughs> uh, this week's episode was entitled Metal Attraction, episode 18. Okay, um, this episode was really good. Once again, great action, good story. So let's get to the plot of the the whole scene, okay? Okay, so this episode picks up right after uh, episode uh, Criss Cross. And we see a breakdown... Uh, with an eye patch now, like because he lost his 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 right eye, or or right optic, as the uh, Cybertronians say. Uh, and Megatron refuses for Breakdown to go on a mission to retrieve a magnetic weapon called the Polar- the Polarity Gauntlet. Okay, uh, because Megatron feels that since Breakdown was so easily captured by puny humans you know he's he's nothing he's worthless in a way uh but unfortunately megatron allows breakdown to go after go on the mission to prove his worthiness you know uh rc and bulkhead also go to retrieve the gauntlet but even before that we see june and here's what i was afraid of June now overly worried, overly protective of her son, always coming now to the base, you know, saying, oh, I took a, a d- early day off or something like that. It's like, OK, now it's getting a little bit. I remember I told you guys if it was my mom, I would tell her. But now I might be trying to I might be turn, turning that around a little bit because she's overly protective. But later on, we find out why. OK, so I'm going to get to that later. So. On the mission, the recon mission with RC and Bulkhead, and I gotta agree with Zip, RC comes off great in this series. Uh, Miko comes with it. As rebellious as she is, she always goes, and fortunately, uh, RC says, you know, it's just a recon mission, there's no gonna be no action, so she can come. Uh, but when Bulkhead and then we're on their way, we, f- we turn back to Breakdown, and Breakdown uh, finds the location, but is encountered by the ex-Decepticon Arachnid, and, and you, we see uh, <laughs> the two Decepticons going at it for a while, until finally uh, RC and Bulkhead uh, they they come on the scene. They I am both of their arch enemies going at it. Uh, until f- pretty much, uh, Bulkhead gets hold of the the gauntlet and he goes after. Uh, he magnetizes RC, <laughs> RC and Bulkhead together. It was kind of funny though. Uh, the two Autobots. Plus Miko uh, track down their foes. Basically, they track them down, and even at the end, finally manage to get loose of themselves. Uh, but it was really funny. It was like Bulkhead was like, "I never had somebody watch you. I never had eyes in the back of my head, and and you never had uh, like a shield." And he and it was really because she was just. It was really because RC is just. Literally dangling on Bulkhead's back. It's, it was really funny. Um, once again, I, I have to agree. I, I, I like the, the duo between RC and Bulkhead was good. Just like the duo between RC and uh, and Bumblebee is good. They're, they're very good. Um, it was really funny because when they were fighting their two enemies... When they were stuck together, they were actually holding their own. I was like, "Go, go, RC, go, Bulkhead!" Like, until they finally got loose. And once again, we just saw a great fight scene between Bulkhead and Breakdown and RC and Arachnid. 
you know, it was it was good stuff. Uh, very good stuff. I really enjoyed that. Uh, the battle went on between them by b- between the four bots, but before uh, Arachne got the, the gauntlet and she she was trying to make a, a retreat, she turned into her helicopter form, but uh, Bulkhead, uh, uh, or, um, RC, excuse me, RC says Bulkhead, and he chases down and she jumps on her. And he throws her at uh, breakdown. In the end, the Autobots retrieve the the gauntlet. And in that process, that's where June confronts RC and tells her why she's kind of overly protective and everything like that. It, it does have something to do with with uh, her father and things like that. So, with it does have something to do with Jack's father. And things like that. So it, you could see where she was coming from. NRC accepts the apology. In the in conclusion to that, guys, Megatron is still furious with Breakdown that he he came back to the Nemesis empty-handed. Breakdown turns around with Air Arachnid, magnetized his back. Basically, she rejoins the Decepticons, or does she, or is she really? I I think this black arachnid, this this black widow, has her own hidden agenda for joining back up with the Decepticons. That's just me, okay. But it was still a good episode. Really enjoyed it. The fight scenes in this guy, in this series, guys, is great. I love it. Uh, heavy me- um, metal attraction is was a good episode. I can't wait to. For the next week's episode, uh, which should be good. A couple of facts about this episode, guys. With the addition of the Viacons, Megatron, Soundwave, Arachnid, and Breakdown, they're the only ones that, they're the only Decepticons to appear in this episode. Two, another fact about this episode. Optimus is not in this episode. He may, they, they mention him briefly. But that's it. It's only Bulkhead, RC, Ratchet. No Bumblebee. So, those are some facts about that episode. But it was good. It was nonetheless good. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as I did. Tell me what your favorite part was. I know some people probably say the fight scenes between the two female bots are great. Uh, I'm loving Arachnid. I Gina Torres just does a great job at her voice. I love how she comes off. Uh, sultry but dangerous and when the two big bots bulkhead and breakdown go at it it's it's just like two big silverback apes going at it you know so it, it it's really good it's a really good episode really good series glad to know it's coming back for a second season well i should say it's coming back for more than a couple of seasons uh but all in all episode 18 Metal Attraction, Transformers Prime, was excellent. And this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real. You take care.